Boom, what's up y'all? My name is Kim Scoggle and today we'll be taking a look at how you can take your cutout images which we just learned in the other episode and put them into other imagers which is also called compositing. That is pretty hard to do to make it look real and make it look like that's how you actually took that shot but we're gonna do our best here and try and make that happen. Affinity lacks a couple of tools that Photoshop has but it's still pretty awesome and for the amount of money you pay for Affinity Photo versus over your Photoshop time, it's just as good and we can make it work. Just involves a little bit more finesse, a few la extra layers and so on. If you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and get notified whenever I post new content. I'm going to try and do it on every Friday of the month. And uh, we'll just get right to it because this is a bit of a longer one. And we're going to take a look at a few different types of cutting out, how to composite, do that stuff in uh, other videos. But for now, let's just get to it. Okay, so here we are back inside of Affinity Photo again. And we got our eagle here. We're just going to mark it, name it eagle. And the reason I have it on top here is just so we can get the perspective right and then we're going to drag it down below and do what we have to do to blend it perfectly. So, as you can see, it doesn't really look 100% right. There's, there's something with the perspective here that doesn't look perfect and we need to add a shadow once we get the perspective right. So, in uh, finish the photo here we go down here to the perspective tool and we got all these grid lines on here and we can move do what we want to do here so let's see if we can make this seem there we go. let's see how that is you can see here we didn't we still have the mask here so we need to make just a, a render of this so command control c get that back we're gonna just uh, rasterize this image here now we can go back we can put this just a little bit hit the mask tool again and then we can do it again and we should start seeing Let's see how uh, that looks. And you can also go down here, turn on and off the grid. And you just want to do single plane when it's like this and source destination. So let's see if we can't get this. That looks, that looks pretty decent. So we're going to hit apply. I'm going to get it like that. Now we're going to go here and we're going to hold down command. We're going to click this so we mark it up. We're going to go and get ourselves a new layer. Hit B for the brush tool. We're going to hit I for the color maker tool. We're going to go right around here and click so we get that foreground color we're gonna hit B again X to get it back in front and we're just gonna make a bigger brush here so we can paint in this eagle and since we have it masked or uh, unmasked we have it selected with these margin ads around we can do this without worrying about painting on anything of the rest of the image. So we can go just make the brush a little bit min smaller, hit V again, command control D, and we're going to take this and put it around like so on the maybe twist it just a little bit so it looks And then you can kind of make it a little bit bigger because uh, the sun is low, so the shadow is going to be longer. And if you see the 
hottest source point is there, so the shadow can't be there. It's got to be right around here. Because that is the line that is going. And when you're looking at these poles here, you can see that they're sort of they're not going straight out from it. So they're going a little bit on the be on behind it. So right around there is perfect. But see that shadow is really harsh compared to the rest of the pictures. So what we're gonna go now do, we're gonna go into live filters and we're gonna go here to box blur. And we're gonna just take this up just a couple of notches. See what's happening here to it? There it's just a big blur. My computer is a bit slow with all this uh, going on and uh, the screen recording as well. So it just I'll give it a few seconds here. But now if we turn off this, you can see the difference on the sharpness of the eagle on the shadow down here. So I think we're going to try and keep it around 2.4 here. And a good thing with this live filters is we can always go in and fix it again later but you see this eagle is a little bit too sharp as well so we're gonna go and do the same thing live filters box blur and we're gonna see what this one takes let's see here now we can go eagle turn it on and off zoom in here so we That's a bit too much. Maybe a 0.5. There we go. We're gonna go here and that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna call this Eagle Shadow. We're going to group these two, just click on the top one, click on the next layer holding down shift and command control G, we get a group, and then we're going to call this Eagle. So now if we go back out again, we can move this and you see it's following where we put it. But now we're gonna try, we're gonna find out here, we have the white balance and everything, so we're just gonna drag this group here all the way to, to the bottom. And see, that didn't really look great, because now this shadow here is all, all messed up, and that is not good, so we're gonna take it up one more. And we're just gonna go up here and see where it's, yeah, that's not, you might just have to do the full color grading on it uh, once on top here of everything. Which is a good exercise. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, you just have to do it on top there. So, we're gonna open up this, we're gonna go. All the way to the top, we're gonna go in here, go here, and then we're gonna go and open our um, curves layer. And we're gonna move this a little bit out of the way so we can see what we're doing. You can see here we're doing just shadows and stuff. So we're gonna keep that pretty much up there. We're gonna drag it down a little bit on. On the highlight, make it reverse S. That looks pretty good. Let's see if you. And then we can go down to our red because we need to put a little bit more red in on it. Not just the shadow there. Now I'm just going to get the bird right and we can mask out the shadow. Eventually. 
I'm gonna start over here, reset everything. I'm gonna go back up to master. I'm gonna lift it right about there, like so. There we go on that one. So if you turn off, you can see it's become the shadow looks a lot better. Now we're going to try and get just the eagle here. Levels. Draw down the blacks just a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to try and put just a little bit of red into it. See there is there really red. Just that I have a little bit of that red hue. It has a little bit much right there on the white spot of the eagle. Something like that. See it looks a lot better. We're gonna put this lens filter right on top. Now we gotta adjust this uh, group here, maybe. There we go. And open up here a little bit on the blur. Cool. Beans, now we can go there, we can put in Eagle Shadow and we're gonna take down the opacity just a little bit here. That looks more more like it. You can also, if you wanted to play around with the blend modes. So the 56 there, then we can go even down a little bit further. from soft light to dark or normal so now we got to take the uh, eagle itself which is up here Now we're going to go and take away this line here and we're going to keep working on on the, um, the eagle. So what we're going to do here, we're going to make a new layer if my computer wants to do something. There we go. I'm going to make a new layer on top. We're going to go here and we're going to get our in painting brush tool. I have not such a big and we're just gonna click there and click down there and we're gonna try here and okay, we need to go current layer and below And that is gone over there. I don't see. There is a little bit right here. I don't know if you can see it. line from eagle remove 
Okay, so we can go back here into the eagle. And we're gonna try and just color match it a little bit better. So you can go top here, go back here and get out or uh, where are you? Color balance, there we go. We're gonna do a little bit of red in the midtones. A little bit magenta and yellow, you know, see how we need to drag this in here, and then we can see it. there. We're gonna go to shadows, we're gonna make it a little bit more blue. Just there, because we wanna not gonna do that. And we're gonna put in a little bit of yellow. It's not a whole lot that needs to be done, but it's just so we can match this. And if you now take it away. I think we did a little bit too much on the Mid-tones here. Not a whole lot. Now we're going to check. There we go. That looks a whole lot better. It's never a quick process, this, to get in. But as you can see now, it kind of looks like it belongs there. We're not completely done yet. That's just the first step of uh, putting in subjects here. Now I gotta still make this shadow look a little bit more stretched out, like you can see the rest of this stuff is. And after that, we can go uh, start making sure it really fits in with the rest of the colors by putting on some more colors.